Hi, this is Mark at LearnHowToGarden.com uh, and in today's video blog, um, The 10 Minute Gardener, I'm actually answering a question. Uh, one of my subscribers, Chris, has asked me uh, what should he be planting now in August? He's cleared some land on his allotment and really we, we're just going to go through quickly. He wants to see if he can get something out of his allotment this year and yes, you can get lots out of your allotment. Um, and in answer to your question, you can both use seeds, which are much cheaper, but you can get plants from the garden centre or nursery. The first thing I'd stress is that you don't want to, you know, if you've cleared a great space on your allotment, you don't want to leave any of the ground just clear because the first thing you'll get is weeds and be doing it all over again. So if you can't get everything planted, uh, we really want to get some green manure. Uh, in there, so you probably want to get hold of either some buckwheat or some fenugreek, and I'll explain what they do in a moment. The first things that you can still get in are lettuces. Uh, in fact, lettuces prefer really to go in now and grow in the colder months. The two I'd recommend uh, would be black seeded Simpson and Render Glass. Um, they'll give you a uh, really nice taste and they'll grow really well. Um, Rocket is another salad vegetable that will go in now and give you a really quick return uh, and that prefers to grow in the cooler sort of months as we head into September. Uh, Mizuna uh, and Minuba, the, the two Chinese greens, they will go in now really really well and in fact quite a lot of the Chinese vegetables, pak choy, uh, again is a really good thing to get in now, mustard red frills, all of these can be sown straight in the ground unless you've got a real slug problem in which case I'd say sow them into small pots um, or to cells or jiffies uh, and then you can plant them out you can space them more evenly uh, and that just means that you sort of you don't get great big holes in uh, your rows. Uh, you can still actually plant French beans uh, some of the dwarf French beans could go in now some of the ones that say early on it and sort of only take 60 days to mature uh, they would be fine to go in now especially if you're using a no dig bed or a deep bed which is slightly warmer uh, for longer term to come out you could still show cabbage hispy now um, or you probably can buy cabbage plants uh, or even cauliflower plants from your local nursery uh, which could go in now and will take you through the winter and there's a wonderful um, plant called Simi de Rappa uh, which is a, an Italian sort of leaf vegetable which again is great in salads or we quite like it steamed or stir fried and that would be great to get in now so there's quite a few things you can get in um, you might even find, I mean, radish, I love radish, and I mean, that can go in really at any time, you know, and that would be great to pop in now. And also, order some garlic and some autumn planting onion sets. They can go in in a couple of months, uh, and they will get you, you know, that they'll get you through the winter, and you'll be harvesting your own garlic and your own onions um, early summer next year, and now is a great time to order those. Uh, there are a couple of links on the site that tell you uh, where we get our garlic from uh, and who I'd recommend for onions. Now we come to this thing called green manure. Green manure is a crop that you grow to add um, goodness to your soil, to also break up the soil, to improve the heart of the soil really. Um, and it stops weeds. It actually sort of will stop weeds taking over your plot. Fenugreek is a really good one and it's very quick and you would dig that in at the first frosts or buckwheat which I would be tempted to plant now if you've sort of got a piece of ground you've cleared that um, you're not going to get anything in. Buckwheat has very very deep roots and will really break up the ground um, and if it is killed by the frost if you just leave it literally on top of the ground the worms will take it in for you. So there are a couple of things that you know think about getting green manures and the other thing I'd say is and I've just picked this up from uh, the stock beds this is the one thing you really want to look out for this is comfrey and if you've got a space on your allotment right at the bottom a little damp patch or next to your compost heap get some rooted cuttings of comfrey and get those in now now this isn't going to give you really um, any food value although you can make an amazing tea out of it and when I had my shoulder replaced I was drinking this tea uh, by the gallon because they call it nip bone and in fact 
in research in Israel, they found that it actually increases bone growth by about 13%. Um, but what you're going to get this in for is so that you have got a supply of free feed next year. You can make a wonderful liquid feed with this. You can add it to your compost heap as a compost activator, or you'll be putting it around quite a few plants, literally as a mulch, uh, to add potash. So get some comfrey in. So, you know, it's not too late. You can get a lot out of your plot now. You haven't got to wait till next year to start. So I hope, Chris, that uh, helps. Any more questions, don't hesitate to uh, email me again and hopefully I can uh, get a response to you. So that's Mark at the 10 Minute Gardener saying thanks for uh, watching this. If uh, anybody else watches it, you know, uh, feel free to email me if you are um, subscribed to Learn How to Garden. If you're not, there's a link below this video and you can just hop over to the website. All it costs you is your email address and uh, hopefully we can get you gardening. So that's Mark saying thanks a lot and uh, speak to you soon.